Hey guys, Spartan here, and welcome back to Futurama the Game. This is tomorrow, after the last set of recordings. Yeah, I did all the Fry's levels in uh, one sitting. Not one sitting, one day. You get the point. But yes. Cutscene. And it still looks janky as all hell. Fry, you have the engine. Great work. Whoever coded you this uh, wasn't that great. This Not time. the game, the yeah, Fry's thing. Yeah, great, and we all love him. Now let's roll. Shotgun. There, the engine's in place. And we've got that gizmo that gives me more lives. Prepare for liftoff. Hooray. Farewell, big blue ball of idiots. I wish I could say the same thing. I can't say farewell because I'm not leaving. Universe. Prepare to be taken over! I give you... Spaceship Earth! Well, in case it isn't obvious, this game is non-canon to the Futurama canon. Mostly because of the whole premise of the game itself. A ship appears to be leaving the planet, Mother. What? Show me! It's right here on the radar screen. Damn it, Larry! Radar's been obsolete for centuries! Use the Stereopticon! <laughs> One of the I best lines in the thing. game. I just love that joke. It's still trying to use radar. The Planet Express ship! So, they're trying to escape, eh? No matter. We'll just have to hunt them down like common kittens. That has two buttons. More power! Aye, aye, Mom! Sir! More, more! Pull harder, you son of a me! Son of a me. Also a good joke. Sweet butt crust on a cracker! Who'd have thought this miserable little planet would be so heavy? Uh, Walt would. How dare you, Walt! Gah! Ow. Broke his goddamn neck with that slap. I do like the design of the mom ship, despite the fact that it never appeared in any media ever, I'm pretty sure. Or was this in that one episode where the she calls the robots to rebel or whatever it is? It may have been in that video and I've just forgot. Not video, episode, what am I Welcome talking about? To South South. What can I do use for? I need a spaceship engine. Nothing special. Well, Except it has to be powerful enough to move the Earth. The ice? Holy Jesuses! For that, you're gonna need a dark matter engine, and a big one at that. Money's no object, as I will soon be taking over the universe. Perhaps you've heard of it? Hmm, a dark matter engines. You're gonna have to find the guy who invented it, Hubert Farnsworth. That old goat from Planet Express? But he just got away, that son of a mother-loving no-good piece Don't of- No worries. I got an idea. I mean, an ideas. Wonder if that was an outtake. Like the cheese asteroids. Good news! I've programmed the reanimator to work for Bender as well. So now I can die and come back to life like Fry? Does that mean? Yes. You're a playable character. Very self-aware. This is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> we'll have to check if the dimensions of the video is correct. I kind of forget to do that before videos. Let me take a look. Yeah, it seems good. These black bars do not help. I got some in the suck beam. Lovely. Now to reel them in like the blithering blowfish they are. Everyone just remain calm. We're gonna die! It's every robot for itself! Um, that robot appears to be escaping. Yes, escaping to certain death! No one likes Ignat. Well, I'm boned. 
average uh, Futurama the game fall damage. <laughs> I'm back, baby. Bender, you mechanical marvel, are you there? Uh, what? Who said that? Is it God? No, though I'm as old as him. Oh, hey, Professor. What are you doing inside my head? I'm transmitting over your internal radio. Hello. Our ship is still trapped in the suck ray. We need you to find the source of the beam and disable it. What's in it for me, Bender? Uh, well, uh, no, we'll rescue you and take you with us off this godforsaken asteroid. No deal. I've got a box of magazines with Fembot Centerfold. Roger that. Over and out. This game actually had some pretty good writing. But as you would have noticed by the uh, title, Bender, of course, is the next playable character, and he plays like Crash Bandicoot, kind of. I'm better than you! Now, Bender has no range attack. Same with uh, Leela, who is obviously going to be the next character we control in many levels. So, yeah. You have the Crash Bandicoot spin, you have a slide, but you cannot jump out of it, and you have a body slam. And I will be using the slide as my primary attack, because the spin is... Okay. Diamonds are forever, just like Shut Robo. up, Bender, so I can explain. The spin does effectively one damage, in Bender terms. The slide does two. The body slam does one point. Like, the shockwave stuns, but it does no damage. Yeah, if you land directly on an enemy, it does, like, eight damage. But it's nearly impossible to land those, because you have to be very precise, and most enemies don't even have that much health. Most of the time, you're going to see me using the Body Slam, because, as you will notice, it causes you to gain height upon uh, initial use. Also, you can use the Spin to, like, slow your fall. But yeah. Booyah! Body Slam. Mostly used for, uh... Oh, that's janky. Mostly used for gaining height. Because, uh... Well, Bender does have his, like, grab animation be a lot faster than Fry. Uh, it is still really slow. This music is really fucking loud, by the way. Like, let me open up OBS and check how loud it is. Yeah, it's very loud. Most levels are not this loud, however. Oh, get that off the screen. Uh, in case you didn't know, I have a mouse plugged into my, uh, PS2. My, uh, my official PS2. I'm trying to drop down, but, yeah. Ah, I tried to <laughs> I tried to use X to jump because uh, I Look out for mechanical liver. while uh, I was just in my downtime because my internet's still broken and I have a lot of downtime now. Uh, I was playing uh, Crash Twin Sanity, very happy. which uh, yeah, I 100%ed I it because I was bored. I am very bored these days, obviously, because no internet. But yeah, that was fun. Um, obviously, since I just played it and completed it, I won't be doing a series on it anytime soon. But yeah, that would be a, like if I do that as a series, it would probably be something oh, I'd right. get like a highly regular crystal and solid heroes and bread to uh, join me with that for a co-commentary. Yeah, these blue little things are annoying as piss. They, they spin at you, and when they spin, they have invincibility frames. They only have, uh, one HP, though. I think these are, like, weasels or something, technically, because the level's called Weasel Canyon. Oh, there's a Nibbler. I kind of forgot there was a nib Nibbler there. There's 11 on this stage, yeah. So many. I think this is the most in any stage. Great. I've gotta collect these stupid furballs, too! Yeah, this is... I think this is the longest this level in the game. The and I think the shortest in the game is, like, Left Wing. Which... Quite frankly, uh, getting that name out of context... Doesn't make too much sense. Like, Left Wing of what? Who's Left Wing? Answer is, uh, probably Leela. Now, I will not talk about American politics. Let me try and use the 
Body slam. Not bad for a pre program. That's an audio glitch. Yeah, it's doing that audio glitch again. It's exclusive to the uh, emulator. Yeah, that did like four damage there. Yeah, there, there's. There is no like a uh, preset amount of damage that actually does. It's, it's kind of weird. But yeah. While I get this audio glitch. I hope it fixes itself. No, it's still playing explosive sounds. God damn it. <laughs> nice Doppler effect. And yeah, there's an example of the uh, body slam dealing 8 damage. Those guys have 8 health. Okay, it's fixed itself. That's good. But yeah, we got these Crash Bandicoot-esque uh, plant platforms that try and eat you if you uh, stand on them for too long. They are instant death. No, they're not instant death. They deal... A decent amount of damage, but yeah. Also, Benja obviously doesn't have a lock on because he has no ranged weapon. Which way leads to the treasure, and which way leads to where I'm supposed to go? Because even though I I have obviously failed my 100% collectibles challenge, I missed. Uh, go nicely with my gold tooth. I missed a few nibblers. Yeah, like that's how inconsistent the hitbox is. I missed a couple nibblers and I missed like one dollar stack. I'm collecting gems, obviously, because that's that's just what it is. And you'll see you pick up these charge ups, they allow you to do a very powerful attack, but they're consumed on use. This should cook up nicely. So when will I use them? Most likely never. Knowing me and my uh, hate to use consumables in video games. I would say drinking challenge, take a drink every time uh, I use the body slam as not a weapon, but a, a means to uh, traverse a chasm. Oh, I feel like I've got indigestion. I had a grilled cheese. It is a uh, very tasty. But of course, uh, I'm semi-lactose intolerant. I say semi-lactose intolerant because I was never diagnosed and I just feel weird after eating uh, or drinking milk-based products. So, I don't really know. Maybe it's just out, dense calories or whatever. I agree with that statement, Bender. Yeah, I'm, 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 even without actually paying attention to it, things. I am just spamming the stupid body slam just for extra distance and height. Even when I don't need to use it, it's like, yeah, it's safer than, uh, doing stuff. Obviously, if you miss, <laughs> you fall to your death. Those guys are kind of easy to hit with the body slam as an attack, though. Also, you cannot smash uh, these cactus things. I gotta hug it. Me, whenever I see uh, Ralph say. I will not go on another tangent about the internet being down, but uh, I will. I nice aim for. Oh, he actually fucking hit me. Jeez. Yeah. So, like, if I don't use the body slam, it takes four hits. You didn't decide to attack me there, but... I'm kind of grateful for that. I think this is a forced hit to take. Yeah. The of the robot gods. What is it, Amperusia? Oh, it's like, uh... Oh, something. I, it had a better logo on the, the sh crash ship at the start. I really should use these charge things. They give it out like candy at the start of the game. I say candy, but as a uh, non-American, 
I do not see candy. Like, it's, it's a culture shock kind of thing, how, uh... <laughs> the Australian uh, saying for candy is, uh... They're so cuddly! I wanna hug it to death! Yes, Manda. Yeah, we say, uh, lollies, which is obviously not good when, uh, you're an American and you're hearing that, because, like, lollies is a... Or is that just a Japanese saying? This is even easier than stealing! Alright, let's uh, get off that tangent, because that's all I have at this point, because no news has happened with me. I'm gonna try and call somebody from the uh, internet company that I'm uh, aligned with. Try and get the fucking thing fixed. Just as I suspected, boulders do float in quicksand. I'm pretty sure they, in reality, do not. Is this even really quicksand? I guess the reason why humans sink in quicksand is because it's like dropping a pencil into a, uh, something that it's like jelly. Are you dead yet? I don't really want that little one piece. It's real. I, I've briefly watched One Piece. And by briefly, I mean ah, I watched maybe two episodes. Ooh, this'll make a nice stuffed animal. My, uh, my sister practices taxidermy. I think I've said this before, but... Yeah, talking about making creatures into stuffed animals. She doesn't do that. She's made a, uh... She just skins them. I don't know what the fuck she's doing. I... Quite frankly, the less I know, the better. She just has her own little freezer, which she stores dead animals in. Tried to do body slam there. Failed miserably. It's like, I don't trust the ledges in this game. I don't trust the ledges in any game, quite frankly. I'd rather consistently make the jumps. But yeah, you get the point. So yeah, expect to hear that stupid sound a lot. So yeah, talk about platformer. This is infinitely more platformer than a fry was. Hence why the title of this episode is like it's Crash Bendicoot. Sometimes I think of the names of these uh, videos before I upload them. Sometimes I don't. Actually, most of the times I don't. And it's Bender with the steel ass! Actually, took full damage there. Surprising. Ah, uh, not really surprising. This game is kind of unforgiving with uh, full damage. I, I don't even need to kill these idiots. That voice line caught up early. You're supposed to say, "Oh my shiny, you know what?" This will make some extra for body. Ow! That's why you probably shouldn't try using the uh, the body slam or the butt bounce or whatever you want to call it as an actual consistent way of using damage because it's not consistent. I use it because it's fun. And it's also a very good platforming tool. Ah. It's... Oh yeah, I forgot. The first person view is Bender does that. You cannot zoom in, but it's just green. It's fucking annoying. Oh yeah, I need to hit left instead of up because of uh, camera. But yeah, they, uh... They will have de-rendered all that level there. It's kind of uh, ingenious how they do it, like, they try to make it the hardest way to uh, actually see the rest of the level before they do it. Oh, let me use the special attack just to demonstrate it off. Yeah, it does like infinite damage, and it makes you invincible while it's happening. It's actually a pretty good weapon. That was beautiful. But unfortunately, there's very few times in the game where it's, like, worth using. Because there's, like, maybe three times in the game where you are swarmed by enemies and it's worth using them. And two of those times happen in the same level. Break that down. 
Let's break it down. I haven't been able to play Overwatch yet, obviously. Even though I've, I've stated many times that I should probably stop playing Overwatch. I only play it to play with friends at this point. Do those friends watch these videos? Probably not. I have shown them my channel before, but I don't upload Overwatch. Because half the time when I'm playing Overwatch, it would be me raging about how I'm paired with this one teammate who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. It's always like one DPS player. Because I play tank all the time. And tank is kind of miserable to play these days because of the changes they made to the game. So, uh, yeah. Oh, hang on, box. God damn it, I fucking missed him. Landing directly on the head does obviously more damage. I do like the kind of like rocky textures they put on that dude though. Second last nibble. Aww, I love these things. So Bender obviously had to have uh, more lines recorded for nibblers specifically for this level. Because it has 11 in them. Nice fall damage. Bender has a really long ass uh, fall damage recovery uh, time as well. The metal man's alive! Mommy's not gonna like that! So ignore over here has this little uh, cannon thing, and it'll shoot at you. And the uh, the emulator really does not like it. I crave shiny things. So Ignora is very good at predicting where you're going to go. So you're gonna have to hide behind like random shit. Thankfully, the slowdown actually makes it easier for me to like matrix dodge this dude. And yeah, he'll smash things. If you hide behind things that break easily, like those barrels, or that rock pillar tower. We're running at 80% speed now. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on, man? Just don't look at him and the, the, the frames won't die. Yeah, if you hide behind, like, this pillar, I think it eventually breaks. It's got like that Dragon Ball Z effect where you can obviously tell what parts of the, the world are going to be destroyed during the fight. Six. Speaking of other anime that I never watched, uh, Dragon Ball Z, I think I watched like maybe an episode or two. Oh, he's hitting that metal thing in front of this thing that also breaks. But yeah, I, I just never really watched anime aside from like Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I cared about Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was a kid. me from there. I don't think he even can. All right, a highly regular crystalline solid. I remember there was something here you needed to do before <laughs> you activated the thing to blow up Igna. That's the last of them. Not a, that's the last of them. Not a, that's okay, audio glitch. He's oh. supposed to say that's the last of them. Time to preheat the oven. All right. Blow up some rocks. If you see mommy, tell her I killed you. Wonderful. Also, invisible ball here. <laughs> Just because. There's, there's no reason why there uh, really is one there. Also, those rocks, they, they kind of just fell. L plus fell off, plus uh, arm fall off, boy. Grab that. Yeah, this is a fairly long level. Nice uh, climbing animation to ah, actually sink with the rungs. Alright. I need to get a checkpoint here. There's like the, the stage is over. Uh, there's 250 oh, cool. things. There's more of this dude, so I want to get him close together and then I'll use the power. Power to. Kill the Black Knight. Yeah. 
By the way, you automatically walk forwards when doing that. You can control it, and it's very easy to control, but you still move forwards. Yeah, Igna's uh, turret has been destroyed. It is not clear where he went. It's not clear where any of the mom brothers uh, went. Or the mom sons, technically. Yeah, that was, that was a 25 minute level. Jeez. But yeah, uh, I can do one more. Just because... That was, um, god damn, uh, this level's short. Yeah, ask about our high pressure tactics, malfunctioning Eddie. So if you ever need any more proof this is like a Crash Bandicoot parody, yeah, sliding at the start of the level there is actually beneficial. Yeah, this is one of those boulder chase levels from Crash. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, there's, there's really nothing for me to say here. This is just a Crash Bandicoot level. It's got pretty good music, too. Just relax, dude. You know, there's a, an episode. Oh, okay, not an episode. There's like, I think it's in. Uh, Bender's big score or something like that, the special, uh, special features on the DVD disc. One of them is that it shows the, uh, the events of this game as, like, progressing to an episode. Very short episodes, just basically all the cutscenes with little splashes of gameplay. Like, and one of the scenes is, uh, this, the events of this level. So, maybe it's canon? Probably not, because of the events of this game. I don't want to spoil the events of the story, but... Stuff that happens makes it like impossible to actually have occurred. That's the last of them. Now to preheat the oven. There you go. You said the line properly this time. But yeah, if you aren't as fast as I am, and I guess it would be kind of easy for this thing to catch up to you. It's kind of forgiving, but yeah. Also, you can't break these barrels. All right. A highly regular crystalline solid. Yeah, good level. Nice, sweet, and to the point. I'm gonna save it here. The Weasel Canyon. It's good to see how long the actual gameplay is. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video of this. Till then, and bye.